just a really nice looking dumpster door and it perfectly complements my interior. And welcome to my new garage. I have painted the floors, introduced the dog. He uh, got paint on his, <laughs> on his forehead today. Aslan, you look so pretty. Oh, you're like a little pretty princess. So, garage is a little bit smaller. We don't have shelves put up, so things are just piled around. And uh, that's my automotive corner there. All right, we are going to be adding, f uh, changing the fluid on this completely. Now, somebody pointed out very aptly in my last video that I was using a GL5 fluid. That's the uh, American Petroleum Institute specification for the chemicals that are in the GL5 fluid. GL5 fluid is used on a lot of newer cars, and a lot of them like to say, hey, it's GL4 compatible. I've got a car that takes GL4, and I certainly don't want to be putting GL5 because it has a higher sulfur content in the mineral mixture, and it's going to eat away the brass, as you saw in that last video, in addition to the copper, which is the uh, thrust washers on the counter shaft. So what I did today is I went to AutoZone and I bought myself some fluid after doing a load of research. Now there are a lot of cars that call for GL4, pretty much anything that has brass synchros is going to want a GL4. And the auto parts store has GL3 and then GL5 slash backwards compatible GL4 claimed items. Aslan, you're so nosy. Alright, so what I had to do uh, in my research, other people like the MX-5 Miata and some of the... Uh, 90s Chevy Camaro guys. Wow, you are such a rude girl. Just kidding, Aslan's a boy. Yeah? Is that right? Okay. So, uh, Lucas has this full synthetic 7590. If you also um, find AMSOIL, which is really great, or AMS oil, they have a uh, synthetic gear oil, which is excellent, completely GL4. This one says GL4 with GL5 compatibility. Safe for, uh, where is it? Safely blends with other gears oil, gear oils, synthetic or petroleum. Meets or exceeds major manufacturer specifications. All this stuff that sounds really, really great. Good for hypoids, limited slip differentials, high temperatures, yada, yada, yada. Now, we all know Lucas is a great product. I have it in the rear end. Um, however, you know, this is going to have the same amount of chemicals. So basically, the, the comparison is that you have a GL4... That's your glass half full, and then here comes GL5 and fills it all the way up. So in that sense, it's backwards compatible. A great analogy somebody used on the MX-5 forum was that your GL4 and GL5 are different brands of 3M stickers that you're putting on your drywall, and your drywall is your transmission uh, gears. So you could put the 3M stuff that has the damage-free hanging that peels off, or you could put double-sided tape, which will peel off and leave the drywall largely intact, but you'll be missing that outer layer of paint and it'll slowly eat away at it. Same thing's happening to your gears of the GL5. You'll notice here, contains no Teflon, no sulfur, no chlorine. So, this is the uh, heavy duty oil stabilizer. It says when you're putting this in a transmission to do 25% to 55, uh, to 50% for transmissions, light duty manual transmissions. So according to Lucas, when you mix this and this half and half, you're going to have a sulfur content that is acceptable for GL4 quality. It's basically going to dilute the strength of this one while keeping the lubricity, keeping the weight and temperature control and the smooth shifting, let us hope. You can see under here a couple of uh, spots where it's leaking. I kept down that plastic to Keep my brand new shiny floor new and shiny. All right. This transmission, the M40, along with the M47, takes 0.8 quarts. So I'm going to use 0.4 and 0.4 of these guys. I'm going to pour it in through the shifter since I don't have jack stands and I can't get the car to fit on ramps. And uh, once I move all that stuff from the old garage, we'll be fully equipped. But first I need shelves. But first I have to do a transmission change. All right, hope that makes sense. Now I'm gonna to get to work. See you all in a minute. Okay, one quart is 946 milliliters. And so uh, 0 0.8 is going to be 756 milliliters. So I filled it up to 
the five and then I started putting in a little bit of Lucas. I wanted to show you that. I'm gonna fill it all the way up to 750. Nice and syrupy. But it blends really well. So what I did is I opened the drain plug uh, and then I put the car back down as, at level ground. I'm letting it drain and then I uh, put in a little bit of uh, 30 weight oil, motor oil, to help flush whatever's left of that old fluid out. And now that's finished draining and then we're going to put this and it's going to be lovely. Right, I'm going to put a little bit more than 0.8. I'm going to use probably half of the quart and on each one. That way we can have a little... See how much thinner that is? I'll have a little bit um, pouring out the top. Hopefully it will also do uh, some good to flush out remaining old gear oil. Yeah. All right. That's ready. I'm going to plug up the bottom hole. Leave the top one open. Pour this in and fill her up. Okay, here's the moment of truth. We're gonna look inside the drain pan. We're gonna see lots of brass in the middle. You'll see the new fluid. Ah, it's not very good. Looks like brains, yep. And uh, that's all, all that cloudiness is brass. You see the new fluid in the middle there. Since, you know, we poured it out, topped it off, put some oil. Ay ay ay. what a mess this has been. All right, we're all uh, topped off, plugged in. I'm gonna put the shifter in and uh, take it out for a spin. Okay, one final look at the ugliness that was the old oil. Oh, that's pretty gross. And it's not engine oil, because my engine oil looks spectacular. Nasty stuff, really nasty. All right, so one more thing I had to do. See that wet spot under the car? I had to open up the front underneath that uh, that nose piece where there was a, originally a hole for the water to come out. It was all plugged up. So I had to put a screwdriver in there and open it up again, pry it open a bit, and uh, let the water drain. Because when I washed it this morning, it filled up with water, and that will rust. I've got my lovely little teapot here with me. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that was informative and entertaining. Oh, by the way, the drive went really well. Um, I could already tell smoother shifting from the get-go, which is good. I mean, it's not a world of difference as much as you can expect in these old cars, but it is nice. Now, if it was a Miata or something newer, fancier, better design, yada, 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 yeah, you'd notice a big difference. Alrighty. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. Beep, beep.